I'm Rita Heikenfeld, and you know I use salt every day in my cooking just about. But if you go to the grocery store, there are so many kinds of salt. So today we're going to do a little salt primer. First kind of salt is regular salt, iodized salt, just like I grew up with. And this can be iodized or not, and iodine uh, provides, uh, is a nutrient that our bodies need. So that's regular table salt. The next thing that we're going to pour is kosher salt. Now look how much coarser, coarser it is, and you can buy fine kosher salt. Now these are actually mined um, similarly. This, these both come from uh, salt mines in the earth. And by the way, all salt started in the sea, and the earth, earth uh, salt mines are just merely markers from where the water once flowed. So regular iodized salt, and if you look at kosher salt, it's processed differently. It's processed in flakes or... Uh, put through rollers. So for every teaspoon of regular salt, you're going to need about one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. And this is wonderful sea salt. Now sea salt has become all the rage. And I love sea salt. To me, it has the minerals of the sea. And I like it because you can add, it adds to me more flavor to my palate so I can use less. Plus, I guess, again, you get the bonus of minerals. And Sea salt is harvested from seabeds, allowed to evaporate and dry. This is coarse sea salt, and it's used a lot in cooking. But the fine sea salt really does dissolve well. This is Celt Celtic sea salt. This is harvested. It's really wonderful. It's hand-harvested and sun-dried, and it has a lot of flavor. And look at the color. The color is from the minerals and the uh, seawater itself, and it's very moist, just delicious. Now here's another salt here. This is another kind of sea salt. It's called Florida Cell. It's not a salt that you use in cooking because it's so expensive. And it's hand harvested. It's said to form only when the wind blows from the east. And it's harvested manually using the traditional wooden scoops from June to, uh, to September. This is bread salt. I love this salt. It's got um, a natural mineral content in it really helps bread rise quite well. And the last salt I'm talking about is black salt. It's not black at all, but it's pink. It's called black salt, and it's used a lot in some um, Indian cooking. Really, whoops, really, really flavorful. So there's your salt primer for today, from iodized all the way to black salt. Mm -hmm.